Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Prism. I am the Medieval Massacre and in the last one we explored through, I cannot remember all the cities, names, Caper City. We met Professor Ilk and his brother. We stopped uh, a bad man from trying to steal a Bagon and of course we added a new member to the squad. In this one we're going to go through Route 72 and go to, um, o Oban, Oban Haven City, Oban, Oban, Oxalis City, and, uh, see what's there. But first, I'm gonna go over my team for you guys. Sakura is here, the Psychic Fairy type, so Fairy is in this game. Interesting. The level 6 Ralts, holding an Orin Berry, rocking Mud Slap and Growl, and of course, uh, Synchronize. We've also got our starter, Diane, the, Lav the Larvitar, level 7, uh, rock ground type, rocking uh, Mud Slap, Leer, and Scratch, holding that soft sand to power the Mud Slap up uh, that has guts. Uh, I am very happy to be having Sakura on my team, as it is my mascot, it is the Pokemon that represents me, and that is a discussion I want to start with you guys. What Pokemon represents you? It, it doesn't matter if it's Ho-Oh, it doesn't matter if it's Psyduck, you know, if it represents you, tell me why. And, uh, let's have a discussion in the comments. Youngster Jordan would like to battle and he sends out a Taylor, which means that currently Sakura is useless. Because I only have Mud Slab and Taylor is in the ground type moves. So we go out into Diane, who's attacked immediately, uh, immediately falls multiple times, however, I mean, look at that, we're still doing a lot of damage. Uh, Mud Slap is a special attack, Pursuit So that's the reason why Mud Slap doesn't do too much with Diane, like even powered up with the uh, soft sand is because it's special and we are a physical attacker. But that'll take care of the Taylo. We'll go up to level 8, which is great. Hashtag those bars. And uh, hashtag stole it from Shady. Against Jordan is about to send out Pidgey. I will actually. I'll totally switch train soccer still. Soccer. I fucked up. When I actually pronounce it right, I have fucked up. Because that is not who she's based off of. She's not based off of soccer from Naruto. She's not based off of any other soccer. She is based off of Sakura from Card Captors. Man, I love Card Captors. It's been so long since I've watched it. That is a crit! Diane does not give a shit! She is lit! Oh, I am lit. Okay, youngster Jordan, what happened? You got fucking schooled, my dude! Let's see who this person is, Camper. Oh, hey there. Can I interest you in a battle? You know what? You, you are polite. You are polite, Technical Lois. Google is uh, about to get this egg. I will stay in, see what I can do. Uh, partially fell. Did, does what's that do that? Is it partially falling? Wow, so that's like you're at minus like four accuracy. So that's actually pretty great. That, I like that. Sakura grows to level 7, and we learned confusion just in enough time to run out of PP for Mud Slap. And he's about to use Vulpix. I'm going to switch out to Diane. I don't like. Oh my god, look at how cute Vulpix is. I don't like having to take down a Vulpix. Uh, Craven, I hope that you will forgive me for this. See, look at that, it's like, my 
his, uh, the, the Vulpix's accuracy fell, but it didn't partially fall, but for some reason, for, uh, for Sakura, that's different. It's, it's weird. It's weird, but I like it. Oh, God, should I go back and heal? Nah, fuck it. <laughs> Who's the biggest Pikachu fan? Look no further. Okay, so this guy's gonna Pikachu. Okay, fan, Derek wants to battle. And yeah, he's gonna Pikachu. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, Sakura destroy him. I wish I had one slap still, but I have. Dead. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you have to catch this. Okay. Oh, yeah, only hit fucking Diane two times, but, you know, as soon as you fight my fucking Sakura, apparently you got skill link. Aha, you lowered my attack, but it was me, Mud Slap. So, what I worry about is getting into a storyline battle right now. Because, uh, fucking, actually, I'm gonna shoot this back and heal. There is also just something else I wanted to check up on, and this is a good chance to do so, which is, uh, do we have a potion in the PC? I know that in Gen 2, I believe Gen 2 is the only gen in which you don't have a Poke, uh, a potion in the PC. Correct me on that if that's in the leader gems don't do that. I don't know if Pokemon Sun and Moon allowed you to have a potion in the PC. I think it just made up for that by giving you $30,000 in quote unquote pocket change. Uh, but there is no potion in the PC. That sucks, but we'll live. Alright, let's go back on those trainers, now that I've got a stab move on Sakura, I'm feeling a lot more confident. I'm wondering if uh, trade evolutions are different in this game, because, you know, raw packs tend to not involve trading. Education is the key to success. You know what, that's, uh, that's a good way to look for it, Youngster Wilson. I think you've got a bright future ahead of you. So it's actually really good that we have Sakura here because uh, Diane is quad weak to water, so we really don't want to have to deal with that. So we won't. Instead, we're just gonna uh, the tail whip. That's that's cool. You're not gonna be able to take advantage of that. You should tail whip first and then attack. You probably would have had me down to. 12 or 10, but, uh, nope, and then we've got Pidgey, I actually, I'm gonna switch out, you know, give both my team members some equal opportunity, uh, dick kick in here, because, five damage, five damage for not very effective, what is this gonna do, absolutely nothing. So, Gust, I'm pretty sure, is a physical, is a special attack. And that did nothing, and it was stabbed. But Tackle, which is a physical attack, which I think I'm actually more physically offensive than I am specially, or physically defensive than I am specially defensive, does more to me? I have... Oh, no, I actually have a higher special defense, okay. That's... that's neat. Okay, so that's... is that the end of the route? I need to do some thinking. My Pokémon hates me, and I don't know why. I if you constantly let it faint in battle. Yo, Axalis City, we are here! The city for young, growing trainers. 
town sure has been. Pondering man is pondering. There has to be more out there than what we're told about. Check this Pokemon out. A uh, brick piece? A brick piece? Okay. I, why is why is a rare chunk of tile? I don't I don't think it is rare. It's a brick. I'd like a whole brick, not pieces. I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe there's something else I thought you was a gem here. Pokemon Gym Leader Josiah, too hot to handle. So it's a fire type gym leader. There's some real arrogant people this day and age. Josiah is our local gym leader, and he can be described with one single word. Idiot. You know what? Okay, Edgelord, whatever. There's a woman living here. She can check how happy your Pokemon are. Oh, okay. Oh, I am the happiness ring. I can score your Pokemon's happiness in an instant. Can I see your Rolf for just a moment, please? Your Rolf skull scored 92 out of 255, grade D. Okay, uh, let's take a look at Diane. Hello. Uh, 95. Okay, so we're, we're fairly early in our Pokemon journey. But, uh, that's, I mean, that's not terrible. So, there's a, there's a gym here. I definitely want to go to that, especially considering I have two Pokemon with Lead Slap. And one of them is actually a special attacker. So part of me kind of wants to give the, uh, the Soft Sand... Because my special attack is 15, my special attack is 12. Well, this is kind of moody in the early stages, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm from Sinnoh, where the Pokemon here are really different. I see a few familiar faces, but the wild is mostly different. The trainer laughed at my Pokemon, but I think my Jigglypuff is the cutest. Maybe it's because they don't live in the wild and tell you, this place, like, you treat me like if you try to be a nice person around here, you know, like, you say hello, or good morning, it just blows up in your face, leave me alone, get lost, scrub, don't touch me, I know peaks in Johto and region, way more chill, you say yo, and they reply hey, so why are Namjo people so stuck up all the time, I, I don't know, dude. Rookie Trainer Hall, just a place for beginners. Hey, we don't need... Oh, you need a mining pick to mine. Okay, so you can get rid of those, too. This house has two underground passageways. It was built to connect off Salas with the mountains on Route 73. Lately, trainers have started to gather inside. One guy even gives away free Pokemon from time to time. Oh, okay. Get some clothes? Get the clothes shop? Rad, isn't it? I got it made from our local salon. It's the most stylish salon in all of Belgium. They even do your makeup. Give it a try. I'm lucky to try it. Hair like this takes a proper time to care. Plus, I come here all the time. Try not to look too different. One time I got a makeover and my Pokemon didn't even recognize me. Ooh. Is that an actual thing? Uh, first off, I am going to save. Then I'm going to say state, because I actually haven't done that yet. Hey there, sweetie, unhappy with the way you look? Your worries will be over once I give you a stylish makeover. It's only a thousand dollars, fuck you! Uh, yeah, no, that's that's money I could be spending on Pokemon and shit. That's a QR code? Um, oh. 
I don't know what this QR code does. I will scan it later. And go ahead and see what it does. Uh, there's nobody here, so I'm just going to move on. This is Route 73. Uh, so Mount Cave is up, Spurge City is farther than that. Up to the right is Terenia City. Uh, can we find any good Pokemon here? Oh my god, we can find a Vulpix! Oh my god, we can find a Vulpix! Oh yes, yes, I'm getting a Vulpix. I am 100% getting a Vulpix. Oh, it already has Quick Attack, too. I love this. Okay. And we crit. Okay, good. And it's female, too. We go add it to the female squad. My squad of gals! Uh, it appeared to be good. I fucking didn't know it. <laughs> but let's, let's go ahead and throw the ball. If I hit this thing again, it'll die, so I can't really do that. Hey, we got it! Okay. Jinchuriki is here. Uh, which, by the way, I can name her Jinchuriki because that is based off an anime. So, let's go ahead and do that. I am not going to pass off uh, having a Nightingale Spot Let's take a look at what ability I got, because I'm kind of looking for Flash Fire. What is it? she holding? Mass Spear Berry? I don't know what that does. But I guess she can hold on to it for now. We've got Flash Fire! Yes! Good. Because there's a fire type of gym. So, having Flash Fire is really fucking good. So, uh, we're gonna train these mods up, I guess, in the undergrounds? Because I have no idea how powerful this, uh, this gym leader is. I don't want to get my shit pushed in. On the first gym. So let's first up set up our Pokemon here. And let's go on in. Oh, this place looks fucking cool. Yo? Yo, this place kinda Zelda too? I found a stick. Which is good if I ever want to raise a fucking far-fetched. A word of advice just for you, kid. It's better to train multiple Pokemon instead of just one. Oh, dude, I already got three Pokemon on my squad! What is my life? Oh, this is a PC. Okay, fair enough. Uh, apparently there's a guy who gives away, like, three Pokemon. What's up here? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just... Go ahead and train, let's do it. Ha! Shocked you. Nope, saw you coming. Pokemaniac Aaron must have battled. He sent out a Marie. Alright, fair enough. Marie is pretty good. He's probably got static, which worries me a little bit. He's tailored to lower his defense. It's gonna use growl to lower my attack, so that probably just takes a bunch of out. And I immediately got static. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see how much this does to me. Uh, more than I would like. I'm gonna go out to... Should I go out to... Sakura or Diane? I'm gonna go out to Diane, unfortunately, because I don't really want to take the Thundershock. And I'm going to use Mud Slap. Special non-contact. Uh, the tackle, unfortunately, tackle can also fucking static me if that's how that works in this game. We crit because we need an unnecessary critical hit for the win. And Pokemaniac Aaron was defeated. Uh, there's something I'd like to check actually.
I wonder if anybody knows what I'm doing. Probably not. It does work! That's awesome! Okay, so... It's running by the same rules of if you put a Pokemon on the PC and take it back out, it's fully healed. So this PC here actually works as a Pokemon Center. So that's that's pretty great. I like that. Take a sip from my non descript drink. My Pokemon Maniac Paul wants to battle. Paul will send out a Ralts because apparently he thinks he's fucking funny. You're gonna trace my flash fire, that's fine, I don't have any fire type moves. Uh, yes, you do have confusion. That's okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's less than okay. I'm going to switch out to Sakura, maybe predicting that you use confusion again. You do, so this shouldn't really do anything, right? Uh, it did more than I would like you to do. Aha! I can't believe Ross's accuracy fell. Oh, you know what? You know what? I bet you went the mud slap. Oh, people are gonna bitch at me about this in the comments. <laughs> Here's what happened. The Pokemon that I was using mud slap against that partially lowered its accuracy had the ability symbol. Which uh, causes Yojin should be has ever. Sorry. Which causes stat boosts to be doubled and stat lowerings to be doubled. So, I lowered its attack just by one stage, but because of its ability, I lowered it by two stages. The comment section is gonna get me. That is such a broken method of healing, and I love it. To be fair though, he could have just had like a healing machine. Oh! He can see me from off screen! Ultimately, you have no clear type this is left. Okay. Super Nerd Bill wants to battle, he's gonna send out a Yanma. Which is gonna be great because Jinchiniki has this thing where she just learned an attack. Uh, y'all mind if I just test it out on this Yanma because I'm a to hit. Burn this bug. Oh, that's tasteful. Do it again. It is still doing way more damage than I could But. 210 experience, that is nice. What do we got next? A trappage? Fuck. <laughs> trappage is ground. Just ground or ground dark? I don't even know, but I'm gonna send in Diane regardless. Let's try mud slapping it, maybe we can just kind of lower its accuracy. Yeah, we can lower its accuracy. We're gonna trade mud slaps here, actually. Uh, mud slap is super effective against us, which is not good. It is the opposite of that. Because that, like, over half shots us. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna just go for the other, okay. And he misses his butt slap, I'm gonna go for mine, I'm gonna hit. And he's gonna hit his as well, which is gonna take me out. Okay, okay, Sakura. There's Sakura. Damn it. I called you by the wrong name. I'm gonna hit a slap. Oh god. He's going to use Gust? Okay. That is some bullshit. Trappage does not get guts. 
Okay, so we were able to take out a super nerd bill. We can use the PC as a quick heal. Uh, fucking everybody needs to be healed. But, for the most part, Diane and Chinchuniki. Then I'm going to withdraw Diane. I'm going to withdraw Chinchuniki. I'm going to deposit Sakura. I'm going to withdraw Sakura. And it's fucking magic. Uh, who's leading right now, Diane? Uh, we should probably have Sakura lead. So this is kind of the the dojo. As compared to training with my Pokemon friends. It's called Super Nerd uh, Hugh. You got yourself a coughing island with the right Pokemon. We are gonna go for the potion of confusion. Effective, he is going to use the des desolation of smell on me. And we're going to take him out. Good! Good, so far so good. We're going to level 9 Ralts. He's about to use Snow Run, so I'm going to switch out. Everybody's going to be level 9. I like this. And I remember there's a cave with a couple of uh, snow runs back there, so that would be kind of cool to train. It shouldn't be on if I need to. But, oh, we got the bird! Oh, that's, this bite's not going to do fucking anything. Because, uh, we burnt your ass. And that will bring us up to level 9. Amazing. Amazing. Grumble. Hey, you can grumble all the fuck you want, son. How about you? Greetings, I give gifts to talented trainers. Do you have what it takes? Then, prove it. So if we can beat this guy, he gives us a Pokemon? Because if that's the case, please give me some food. Black Belt Ryu wants to battle and he sends out Makuhita. That's cool. Because Sakura is here. Sakura throwing out confusions like they're fucking party poppers. I'll pop your party right now. Too confused by my lyrics, my dude? Hurt yourself in confusion. I'm gonna hit this mud slap, actually. Yo, the slap of the mud, because you're a dud. Gain those experience points. Bachop, I don't stop. Hit this shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, I was actually rhyming there for a bit and it, it sounded kinda cool, and then I was just like, that is what I Oh, this is why. This is why the Waltz line is the fucking best. And I learned Teleport, which is actually not as bad as you think it is, because that can take me right back to the, like, the nearest town. Congratulations, you earned this gift. I found this Pokemon, and it needs a young trainer such as yourself. Woo! Oh, we got ourselves a Cyndaquil! Oh my god, this guy is awesome, and you know what? You know what? I got the perfect name for it. Natsu is here. Natsu, chained by Monatsu. Cyndaquil is a rare fire type. I'm happy you have it now, but I'm running out of Pokemon to kill challengers. I always lose. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Okay, so we've got ourselves... Oh, and it starts off level 10! It starts off holding an Orenberry, it's got Ember, Leer, Tackle, Smokescreen, it's got Blaze. Oh, that is amazing! So we've got two Fire types on the squad. Uh, I mean, currently I don't have any more Pokemon that I want to have on the team, so I'm cool with having both of these guys here. But... Later on, I will probably switch out, and to be honest, 
I'll probably have Cyndaquil on my team because I've used Chinchin to get a 4, so I'll probably just keep Matsu. Uh, but, uh, that's where we're going to end it. In the next episode, we're going to go through uh, this tunnel here. I'm assuming we can't probably go very far. And then we're going to go ahead and take on the gym. So if you guys like this episode, find a way to make that like button your bitch and follow me on Twitter, both on screen and link in the description. I'm Medieval Massacre, and that's the full one.